What's up my love buzz and love muffins, it's Mama Love and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a cooking video and this cooking video is going to consist of something a little different. Something that is not involving carbs, is an, it, it is involving um, vegetables and uh, meat. So this is what I'm doing. I am going to stir fry some red peppers and green peppers some garlic and onion. Um, I wanna chop up some smoked sausage and I wanna stir fry it. And instead of putting it over rice, I went, look at Sam's Club, and I'm gonna have it over the riced cauliflower and we gonna see how that um, turns out. But the thing is, I have to have some type of sauce, you know what I'm saying? And I don't have a sauce yet in mind. I'm thinking more like a, since that's like a smoked sausage. I don't like sweet sauces like teriyaki and stuff like that and brown sugar type of sweetness. But I'm thinking more like a garlicky flavor. I can taste like a garlicky, garlicky chicken broth flavor yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some chicken bro so y'all stay tuned and see how how this comes out okay so for right now I'm chopping up my green peppers and red peppers it's gonna be a stir fry team I could have did it with any type of meat but I just pictured some fat sausages in it <laughs> and um Cut up me some gar. Oh, that's the onion. Onion, some garlic, you know, things that are good with stir fry, peanut oil, you know, stuff like that. You know. And then I'm gonna put a chicken broth in it and some garlic type of seasoning because it's already gonna have garlic cut up in it. So it's gonna be like kind of like a. The stir fry is all gonna be together with the onions. Well, let's just say the vegetables, what we have here. It's going to be all together with the meat. And then the cauliflower rice is going to be separate because that's what I want really to kind of like go over it. But I want this kind of sauce to be kind of soaked in a chicken broth. Now, y'all be like, why is she using egg rich sausage and, and, a, and some chicken broth? Well, I don't know any other sauce to use. My white onion. Okay, so right now I'm, I'm chopping up these Eckert sausages after I already rinsed off my vegetables because this is all going in the wok first and then I'll let it, I'll stir it around for maybe about, I don't know, three minutes before I add the vegetables. Y'all, yeah, I've never done this dish before um, I am just going by my mind right now. My mind is just like, okay, do this, do this, do this, you know, because I'm really trying to start this low carb meal. And I don't want to say, I don't want to hear in the comment, I don't love, that's not, um, that meat's not healthy, that's pork and blah, blah. Well, you know, to each his own, but I'm not, you know, deep frying it or anything like that um basically it's gonna be just a meal for today not gonna be two or three or four servings of it you know but i feel like whatever if i eat this and this is all i eat because i still drink on my grapefruit juice y'all i still drink on that drink and um it helps me like throughout the day you know um hold it up it, it helps me like throughout the day or whatever um i think that's enough Y'all think it's enough meat? Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm the way I got that cut up. It's not enough meat, Tina said. So I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> yeah, anyways. They not really used to this type of stuff. These are like stir-fry meals I like to make low carb. When the kids were little, I used to sit and take the skin off, y'all. All right, I had rinsed off my meat and my vegetables. I ain't Cook the meat for about maybe three minutes. And now I'm stir frying it all in together. Thinking still of a sauce, y'all. Still thinking. 
I know y'all minds is like, oh, she could do this. Oh, she could do that with it. Whatever, you know. It's all a vegetable dish. The cauliflower rice is going to appear like it's like a, you know, like I said, rice. Like it's a starch with it. Uh, I really don't want to put too much seasoning just simply because the sauce itself is salty. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know, if y'all taste polo sauce before, that it's salty. And um, so I really don't want to really add too much until I add like the chicken broth over in it. Um, I'm using the chicken broth, y'all, because I'm trying to create a sauce. I still have it in my head. I want some garlicky, so I don't want no dry, you know, it's got to have a sauce in it. So, but I do want a garlicky taste with this. I'm not going to lie. So, the closest thing I could get to garlic sauce right now to make up is my garlic in it and my garlic so uh, seasoning and a chicken broth. Always taste good together, you all. Always. Two more butter. Butter? Mm. I don't think I want to add butter. Help me no butter. And then, by cauliflower not being right, I probably could go ahead and make this a one pan dish. But I want to make sure, it smells like pizza. It smells like, it smells like pizza toppings, like supreme pizza. Oh, okay. I decided to do the cauliflower separate because the instructions say pour a frozen cauliflower in a non-stick pan, heat over medium heat. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it by itself. I'm not going to put it in the same pan as the stir fry because we already got a lot going on over there already. So as a see, this is how it's coming along. I want it to brown just like it's doing. Brown just like it's doing. Okay, and this is where I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken broth. Yeah, baby, calm down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You kind of want some flavoring going over that cauliflower rice, okay? That's just about enough, you know. We don't want it soupy, but we want, you know, some type of saucy. Saucy sauce. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of a uh, probably pepper to that, a little paprika or something like that when I let that cook. I'm not gonna add any butter to this uh, cauliflower, um, but I'm going to just stir it around a little bit until the water frozen a little bit. I, I usually put a top on it and just let my, I'm going to put a top on this and just let, also I'm going to stop, I'm going to add another bag of that cauliflower. Now that is not enough. So I'm going to add another cauliflower to that. Put the steamer over it or whatever. Season this to my liking or whatever and y'all going to see. So I seasoned it with paprika, black pepper, and a little garlic salt. It can stand it because it wasn't as salty as I thought it was. And our rice is steamed. Our cauliflower rice is steamed. I'm just going to go ahead and make this up and show y'all how it looks. Uh, Tina and Terrell. Well, Terrell is not a uh, a fan of vegetables. So, we did throw on some uh, rice for him. And this is how I wanted it kind of like done, y'all. This is how I kind of wanted it to look. And I use this because I wanted that juice over that. So that's it. Oh uh, no, I'm adding some more meat. That ain't it. <laughs> that's it. That's your non-carb dish. Like I said, you want some carbs in it? Go ahead and put you some real rice in it. Yeah, go ahead and put you some, some real rice up in it. But I, I'm about to taste this and I'm going to tell y'all how it tastes. Got my juices in there. Everything's cut off over there. This is the main thing I'm concerned of. Um, that's good. The, ca the cauliflower rice. 
It's good. It's soft and fluffy like rice. But like I said, just in case, I'll put the kids some of that five minute rice on, you know. That minute rice. So yeah. So when you want to make a dish like this, and you're trying to do a low carb, because like I said, I am still doing a drink during the day. Uh, I do one meal it. Um, I'm one milling a day, trying to watch the carbs. Um, and I, when I get hungry, um, I'll, I'll get, I'll drink some more of that, that juice. And I'll drink plenty of water. And that's it. That's our dish, y'all. Let's do it. This sounds just my name, brother.